Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another episode of Atomic Pop featuring Fat Man and Little Boy. I am Stephen Corka. Juan Frotch. And uh, it's dusk right now. It's a little dark right now because uh, Wanski wasn't here earlier to give us that natural light because he had to take his uh, son to get his teeth taken care of, right? Yes. Dentist. Now, listen, listen, listen. <laughs> My teeth are really fucked up. So I, what, you, you left at 1.30 and you got back at 5.30, right? Yes. That's, 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 what is that, four hours? Yes. What dentist appointment takes four hours? I live an hour away. Okay, so what dentist appointment takes two hours? No, it was like about an hour. Oh, uh, look, what was he having done? No, we had to wait for it, and then he had to get I'm the cleaning, saying, I, you know, then he had to get x-rays, I'm, and... I'm, I'm, listen, I'm not gonna lie, I drink a lot of Dr. Pepper, I am three root canals deep, okay? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's, it's bad, it's bad. Uh, which, by the way, the root canal is not the part that actually hurts. It's prior to the root canal that hurts. That throbbing pain. That's just. I don't like the dentist. Uh, I pulled out one of my own teeth, so I wouldn't have to go. Did you really? Yeah, because uh, they hurt. Okay, well, <laughs> you're, you're kidding, right? No. That's, how old were you? This was like I don't know five years ago. <laughs> oh my god, that's that's barbaric almost. Oh. Like well, caveman style. I'll take the compliment. <laughs> All right, so... Uh, uh, this one back here, I actually pulled I, my tooth out. I, I believe you. How'd you pull it out? Mm -hmm. How'd you pull it out? I grabbed it with, with... With pliers? Yeah, and just yanked it as hard as I fucking could. I cracked it. I still have a little piece. Oh, my God. No, I cracked my tooth in the process. Oh, my God. But it doesn't hurt anymore. I'm <laughs> yeah, but you're just down a tooth. That's all good. All right, anyways, ladies and gentlemen, so we're here Monday night at Corker Comics at the Miami store. We got the Magic Guys over here to our left. You might pick them up on our mic. You might not. Say hi, Magic Guys. Hi. See, <laughs> they're so enthused, aren't they? They're just like, uh, yeah, yeah. We got at Susie fed some around here, and ba Batsy's, of course, you know, hanging out too, because you know he's that's what he does, yeah, yeah, yeah. But 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 he is not wearing that stupid tight ass Tommy Hilfiger shirt from last week. Did you see that Tommy Hilfiger shirt he's wearing? No, I don't remember. It was like skin tight. It was like one of those like early '90s ones. Mm, yeah. Super Bowl. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, so. Super Bowl 52 yeah. it was last night, uh, yeah. as well as the halftime show by Justin Timberlake, as well as tons of commercials and tons of movie trailers. That's what we're here to talk about. First of all, let's talk about the game. I watched the game. Juan, did you watch the game? No. But you did watch the highlights? Yes. Listen, I'm going to say this. I didn't give a fuck about the game. Like I'm like, New England, Philadelphia, whatever. I love the city of Philadelphia, but I don't care about either of the teams. But I will say this. It was a great game. Tom Brady is the greatest quarterback of all time. He, he, I mean, he is. Undisputable. He, he, he is. He is. I mean, Bill Belichick, uh, arguably the greatest coach all time. Yeah. New England Patriots, arguably the greatest football team of all time. Sure. Even though Pittsburgh has six titles and the Patriots only. Yeah, they weren't one lucky David Tyree catch away from a perfect season. I know. Oh. I wish. Which, they, by the way, they won more than the Dolphins won because at the time the Dolphins, did. it was a less of a they did. schedule. So the Dolphins won 15 games, they and I think did. the Patriots won 17. And there's no, nobody can say the athleticism of the people in the 70s was anywhere near what it is today, too. No, like, no, no, no. Like the people today are just like bigger, stronger, faster. Beasts. It's insane. bigger, stronger, faster. Yeah, and I don't know how they get that way. I'm not going to get. Which is also that. why I believe that LeBron is better than Michael Jordan. LeBron probably is, but Michael Jordan is, you know, he. For those of you that disagree, you can come. Let's do this talk sports. Uh, yeah, we're not here to talk about sports, but I will say, uh, quickly talking about sports, because sports, I guess, is a part of pop culture nowadays. This show talks about pop culture. Um, it was a great game. Like, literally, there were, there were, I think there were only two punts the entire game. Yeah. Over, like, the second highest. Well, I, I, I believe the stats, I believe the Eagles converted six of ten third downs and, uh, they had that ballsy uh, fourth down, fourth and goal in call. The, in the first half. Yeah, in the first half. Yeah. Um, I believe Tom Brady threw for over 500 yards. Dorian, yeah. Nick Foles also went over 500 yards, I believe. So it Nick, was... Nick Foles, MVP of the Super Bowl. Yeah. Backup Nick Foles threw over 500 as well, right? Yeah, Foley threw over 500. Brady was almost at 600 yards. Yeah, it's, it was, it, insane. it's insane. It was ranked uh, number one uh, most yards in any Super Bowl. There you go. Number one most yards in any Super Bowl. Nick Foles, MVP of the Super Bowl, but he's a backup quarterback. He's going into the 2018 season still as a backup. Do, do, I mean. They're going to trade him. 
They'll, yeah. they'll, they'll trade him for, for a, a high pick in the draft. It'll probably be a second-round pick. Garoppolo got traded for a second-round pick, so they can expect the same. Uh, Picks are actually more important than players but now. But isn't it crazy to have a, a, major, a, a major league team, professional team, trade the MVP of a championship game post-championship? Absolutely, but Chris Wentz is the truth. Uh, but I, I, on top of that, too, who's who's the actual quarterback? Chris Wentz. No, no, Carson Wentz is his name. Yeah, Carson Wentz. So I'm not Chris Wentz. Wentz. Carson Wentz. Like he he's the real deal. Yeah, he's a real deal. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, so congratulations, Phil. He got MVP w- votes, even though he went down. Really? Yeah. Oh. Not for the Super Bowl, for the season. Oh, for the season. Yeah. 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 No, I heard he did great. I mean, I I will say this. I mean, uh, like I said, I don't. I'm not an Eagles fan or a Patriots fan. I'm glad the Eagles won. The Eagles never won a championship. Uh, Philadelphia is a great city. It's it's. Well, it was a great city till these fucking idiots set it on fire. What do you mean? The rioting because they won the Super Bowl. The city's not on fire. Nah, parts of it. Look, whatever. This great is- job, Philadelphia. City's great. Anyways, congratulations, to Philadelphia Eagles. Let's talk about Justin Timberlake Super Bowl halftime show. Did you watch it? No, but um, I heard because. Wait, you didn't see? You didn't? You didn't see? Like, no, I don't play? care about Justin Timberlake. It doesn't matter. We're here to talk about pop culture. Like, yeah, I, but I know. I know what he did. What did he do? Because I disrespected Prince. Disrespected Prince. Prince before he died. Prince said that holograms are demons. <laughs> First of all, it wasn't a hologram. It was a projection onto yeah. a sheet. Yeah, I'm sure that Prince is very upset at the demonic treatment of his image. See, I thought it was. Uh, see, I'm a huge Prince fan, and I think it was a great. I'm a huge Prince fan, but think, Prince was like a super evangelical Christian. Look, I think it's a great, right. I think it's right. I, I, that I don't know. I'm pretty sure. I'm not that much of him. Mm-hmm. I mean, whatever. Anyways, listen. Uh, w- either way, it, it was a great tribute to Prince. Uh, it mixed great. The city turned purple. Yeah. Did I know you didn't see it, but did you hear about? No, it? I saw the pictures. Like. Like, that's great. Yeah. I almost got a little emotional. I'm not going to lie. I love Prince. I miss you, Prince. Yeah, I miss you, Prince, too. And Prince, arguably... Oh, there's, they say that there's, they're coming out with a new album, right? Of unreleased stuff, previously unreleased stuff, supposedly. Maybe, but we'll see how they... How do you feel I mean, about that? I, I, I'm not... I mean, listen, Prince came out with something maybe like 15, 20 years ago called Crystal Ball. Mm-hmm. It was like a three-disc thing, and it was stuffed in his vault uh, over the last 20 years or whatever. And you could tell, like, it's... Not even B sides. It's, it's, like he should be respected if he didn't release C and D sides. Because let me tell you what, as, as a musician myself, uh, and I'm sure your brother can attest to this too. You know, you're always writing songs, and you know, if you write 20 songs, maybe like three of them are good, yeah. And the other 17 like go into a vault because they're not bad, but they're no. just not good enough to release. You know, so like this isn't going to be like the creme de la creme. No, no, no. Friends, you know? And and I agree with you. I think whoever's in charge of his estate should leave. Uh, his legacy alone. I mean, I'll give you an example. Michael J- Michael Jackson, uh, post his death, you know, they came out with that duet with Justin Timberlake. What was it called? Uh, Love Never Felt So yeah. Good. That song was not so good. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and, and, you know, and then and then they came out with, like, that Greatest Hits remix album or something mm. it, it, that the Jackson film. It was horrible. Anyway, so, uh, but, okay, so, aside from the Prince thing, what else did you know? Did, I mean, you didn't watch it, so we can't talk much about it, but go. About what else? Timberlake. Oh, that's it. That's it. That's all you got. That's all I got. All right. Well, I'm gonna say something real quick. I thought that I thought the band was amazing. Timberlake's band was just like on another level. They were clearly more on the gospel church type type of type of schooling. These guys, because you know, not to get technical with you kids, but 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 as far as like their 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 progressions go and their arrangements go, it was very like very intricate, very great, good good on that. I don't think Timberlake sang a lot. He did a lot more dancing and sing style than he did singing. Mm-hmm. And you, you you at least saw the selfie kid, right? Yeah. Like that <laughs> Like I thought the ending was kind of whack. Like the fact that he ended up in the stands mm-hmm. and the last thing you said was Super Bowl selfies. I know you didn't watch it but you should check it out. The band just went like last song ba done. Like not a ba like a done. So it's just like is there something else? No, that was it. No. And the end of it. You know? So I that that I wasn't a huge fan of. Uh song selection was great. No in sync cameo. A little disappointed, but I expected it. Um and uh but I'm glad no other cameos made it with the exception of uh the late Prince. Okay. Um the trailer. His new album, by the way, his new album came out. No, I haven't listened to it yet. I listened to it, it's pretty good. He always makes good music. It's pretty good and it's got you know, his his album's called Man of the Woods. And it's got a very woodsy, forest feel. Oh, I heard to that because he's like in hard, like a country singer or something. He said, right? Well, it, it, it's pop music with like, with like, 
woodsy feel to it. I don't want to say country feel. A I folk. I want more folk, yeah. Americana, lot, lot, maybe. A lot of acoustic guitar yeah, yeah. And stuff. So, and like folk, like indie folk type yeah, stuff. But yeah, but pop. Gotcha. So, but, you know. It's a new uh, genre. The, and, of course, he's got the Neptunes and Timbaland producing on it who, mm-hmm. who have done all his other shit. So, um, pretty good. Check it out. So, that's Justin Timberlake. Let's get to the commercials. Did you watch any? I know you didn't watch it. I watched. Live, but uh, did you watch any commercials? I watched a bunch of them this morning. Whoa. Did any, and any last stick night. Out to you? I, I personally. Yeah. I, why is. Dodge using Martin Luther King to try to sell a truck. That's awful. <laughs> I mean... Like, they used a sermon uh, they, to pitch they, a pickup truck. They did, yes. Yeah. Jesus Christ. I, I guess I, I guess, I guess, they relay pickup trucks to America, and Martin Luther King is a good example of what America should represent. Uh, I, do I, you I, even I know what that sermon was about? I'm, I'm, trying, to, I'm trying to be objective here. I don't yeah, know. about the greatest honors being able to serve others. So buy our fifty thousand dollar truck. <laughs> I mean, maybe <laughs> the, the the real like cr- he, the, that listen, sermon listen. he was giving in a church. Uh, yes, the, the the real crime though is that a pickup truck in America costs fifty thousand dollars. Or however much, I don't even really know. I'm just guessing. Well, I I I I'll, 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 shame I'll on Do- Dodgers. You know they did this like years ago, right? Like an, another company, I forget. The, it's a, a telecom company. Use I have a dream. Sp- like w- what? Like whatever, man. So is there? So a, I saw that. I, I didn't. I didn't see the the news today regarding. It, but is Dodge getting back? Oh, there's a huge like yeah, a big. Uh, not only Dodge, but it's not like Dodge just took this. I mean the the Martin Luther King, uh, the people in charge, the foundation, like approved it okay. and got paid for it. This isn't like they have control over. Over all this, and uh, and they gave Dodge approval, and that's just shameful. Now, are are there any? So aside from aside from the Dodge commercial, did you see anything else? No, I just saw all the trailers. You didn't see any of the commercials? No, you didn't post any on Facebook, man. No, I didn't, because they weren't that great, actually. Uh, there were a ton of Tide commercials, like Batsy said. Like yeah. A ton of Tide commercials, and it it was a uh, Harper or Hopper from Stranger Things. Yeah. He was like the spokesperson on all the oh, Tide okay. commercials. Oh, okay, great. He looks like uh, a Tide kind of guy. He did do that. Yes, they they were like rip off. They were like rip offs of other. No, not ripping them off. Old Spice. Oh, okay. Oh, same company. Okay, yes. kids, stop eating Tide. Yeah, don't eat Tide. Tide is bad to eat. People are crazy. You know, there was once I I went to. Uh, it's like it's like back in the day when kids our age would like take whipped cream cans. Yeah, but but take, but people don't they, 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 they don't think of anything. So I, I I had my son. He was a baby at this time. Yeah. And I went to Walgreens at like eleven o'clock at night because I ran out of formula, and I was buying formula, and I would stay up all night when he was born to help out. So I was buying Red Bull and formula, and some drunk college guy came up to me. He's like, "Dude, does that really fuck you up?" And I'm like, "Yeah, man." So. If you're watching this, <laughs> gotcha. Mixing baby formula and Red Bull doesn't do shit to you. No, it doesn't. It does give you vitamins, though. And don't eat Tide. Don't eat Tide. Um, other commercials, there was a Doritos commercial where with uh, with uh, Tyrion Lannister. What's his real name? Pa- Peter Dinklage. Peter, thank you. Huh? You know where he did he did the the he he lip he did like a lip sync battle to uh, yeah to the Chris Brown look at me now mm-hmm. the Buster Rhymes verse and okay. then, and then it switched into Morgan Freeman doing get your freak on Missy Elliott oh nice it was okay you know whatever I love Morgan Freeman um the best commercial that I saw it was the Amazon Alexa commercial though did you hear about oh where it? she loses her voice she loses her voice I saw that today. hilarious yeah. hilarious hilarious because yeah. you said you didn't watch anything else you lied and no because it was just a random commercial on YouTube oh well so it, I guess it's everywhere uh, now guys if, if you didn't see it so Alexa loses her voice uh, Bezos the, the CEO of Amazon was in and he's like what are we gonna do and the the Amazon think tank they're like oh well we're gonna have other people be spokespeople but the bet the, the highlight was Cardi B because like the guy's like Alexa, play me some country music, and Cardi B goes playing country music, and she plays Bodak Yellow. So she's like, you know, oh, you can't fuck with me. That song, Do you know, you know yeah, that yeah. song. And then, and then, and then he's like, no, no, Alexa, play country music, and it was just quiet, <laughs> like nothing played at all. That's funny. Like it was like an uncomfortable silence for like five seconds, and then, and then. Uh, Bodak Yellow started playing again. Right. You know? That's great. And, and like I was like, oh, that's clever. That uh, but the commercials, for the most part, were kind of like, meh. You know, there were a lot of commercial. There were there were a lot of commercials that tried to get at your heartstrings. Like there and tons of Olympic 
uh, promos. Uh, oh, that's coming up. The Super Bowl was on NBC. NBC's showing the Olympics. Uh, so tons of Olympic commercials. The Olympics are actually this Thursday, I think, is, is opening ceremony. Wow. Wednesday or Thursday is opening ceremonies in, in uh, Pyongyang. Is that, is that how you say Yeah. Wow, that's uh, really South good. South Korea. Did I say that right? Yeah, that was very well. Very good. <laughs> I'm practicing. That's fucking crazy. <laughs> Anyways, uh, so uh, yeah, commercials, whatever. Let's get to the juice, though, the the meat of it, the stuff that matters to us here, and that's the movie trailers. The movie trailers were just like, some of them were good, and some of them were amazing. I don't think any were bad. No. Um, I, I, I want to talk about Solo, but I want to save it for last. Can, sure. Can we do that? Yeah. All right, you go, you go first, then, aside from that. So first, well, I'll start with the commercial I hated the most. I mean, the trailer I hated most was Jurassic World. Really? Absolutely. Why? I see. I thought that one was because okay. I, I feel like I think uh, not so much. It, it looks great, and uh, Chris Pratt is he super is enjoyable. Genius, love watching charismatic. him. Charismatic. Yeah. Yeah. So I mean, they're they're gonna nail it on that part, but just it looks like they're developing some type of super fucking dinosaur. And I mean, that's what they did in Jurassic World. Yeah, but this is for some reason I felt like I was watching like a bad aliens remake. I mean, listen, listen. I I I, I, don't, I don't know. I mean, Jeff Goldblum's back in it, we know. Yeah. We saw him in another trailer. I thought it looked good. I think it'll be entertaining. It they're still on the island. I, I just feel like for some reason the to nothing about it said Jurassic Park to me other than obviously fucking dinosaurs. dinosaurs yeah. Right, but other than that like it, it it didn't I don't know, it didn't have the tone, the feel, the look, nothing. I mean, that be, I was expecting. Listen, let's be real about something. And domesticating a raptor, like I know, makes no sense. Yeah. But but let, let's be real something. You have Jurassic Park, the first one that came out it, 25 years now. Yeah. Um, which is crazy, dude. Yeah. Wow. We're dying. Oh my god. I remember going to the movie theater. To see I it. remember being that age. Those magic players, Evan. Enjoy it, man, because you're gonna wake up tomorrow and you're gonna be fucking 40 and dying. <laughs> Your youth. Your youth. Your youth, man. Hold on to it, bro. My mom. I woke up like, and I looked at my mom, and I'm like, "When the fuck did you look like this? Like my mom's gonna die." Anyways, <laughs> dude, your brother put up a picture on his Instagram of your mom and dad. I'm like, "Holy shit, that, that that's Mr. and Mrs. Farage." They're super old, man. Like, wow. They're old. Like, like. I don't want. I'm gonna cry. Let's talk about something else. Wow. Yeah. Like they. First of all, they both look like me. Mm -hmm. They're both like super skinny. Oh. You know, like I'm not gonna lie. Your mom looked kind of hot, dude. The same. Your mom saw it too. <laughs> hey, hey, hey! All right. So, uh, I like Jurassic World, but here's the deal: Jurassic Park won 25 years ago. Genius. Yeah. Hands down. You can put that shit on right now and stand up to it. Yeah, it's great. Okay. Um, if I'm a storyteller, I say you could write a sequel to Jurassic Park. You like going back to the island. Lost World was okay. I liked it. It's okay. It was fine. It was all right. You go back to the island. It's fucked up and whatever. But I don't think you could tell a story beyond that without just oversaturating and just milking it for everything. Even though Jurassic else. World worked really well, um, I was shocked how much I actually did enjoy that one. I liked it, but there was so much I didn't like about no. it, too. Like, I didn't like Bryce Howard at all. No. I didn't think the kids were necessary. It seemed like them just trying to chew up Jurassic Park and spit it back out again mm. with the lost children. But whatever. I mean... It, it, of course, it was good. It's it's one of the, it, it grossed a ton of money. No, um, surprisingly, because uh, Dress Park Three it came out of nowhere. Did not do great. Yeah, back came in the out day. of nowhere. And that had pterodactyls in it, and it had uh, what's his name back as the yeah as Sam Neil. Sam Neil, yeah. No, yeah. but anyway, so uh, so Dress Park 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 just didn't like it. Did it, not like it. It's coming out in June or July, something like that. Yep. Um, all right, my turn. I will go, but what this one blew my mind. I did not expect it. Came out of left field, Cloverfield Three. I have bad news for you. Cloverfield Paradox. First of all, for it's already out. It's uh, uh, that's like that's great news. No, but the reviews are they bad? On Rotten Tomatoes, scoring a twenty-six, dude. Oh my god! Not a single positive review I saw. Abrams, the, what, what does Abrams have to do with it? I have no idea. Because J.J. Abrams directed, and I don't know if he wrote, but he definitely directed Cloverfield, which came out what ten years ago now? No longer. Cloverfield came out. Yeah, like pre before my arrest. Cloverfield, first of all, hands down, in my opinion, best monster movie ever. Yeah. Like, well, uh, Pacific Rim is up there too, though. No, not better than Cloverfield. You don't think so? No, not better than Cloverfield. Pacific Rim was great, and don't get me wrong, like the Jaegers, the Jaegers are what made Pacific Rim yeah, yeah, yeah. like what it was, you yeah. know? But uh, remember that movie Robot Jocks from the 90s? Mm -hmm. Kind of like Pacific Rim. No. 
Yeah, so like Pacific Rim, but yeah, Cloverfield is one of the best monster movies I've ever seen. And 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 the fact that it was all shot Blair Witch style, camera right. and done well. Yeah. Like, like you could feel the suspense of what was happening. See, like if this really went down, this is how it would go down. Yeah. Like that's the vibe I got from it. So the trailer last night for Cloverfield Paradox, I think it was called. Yeah. Didn't even mention Cloverfield Lane. Right. It mentioned Cloverfield One and said, if you know this happened X amount of years ago, if you ever want to know where this came from, here's this movie. No. And the trailer looks scary. You see a moving hand, decap, you know, not yeah. decapitated, but amputated from the body. Um, so we will see. I mean, I'm gonna watch it still. I'm gonna watch it. And we're gonna do a review about it. Are we gonna review Alter Ego? You mean Alter Car? Alter Carbon? Yeah, Carbon. Yeah. Of course we are. All right. That came out over the weekend too. I'm. I'm oh, there's a lot of sci-fi to watch right I'm, now, dude. I'm one episode in. How is it? Good. Really? Good. One episode in, it's good. So it's not like slow, because I just imagine it being like Blade Runner. No, it's good. Okay. I mean, it's a little I'm slow, excited. but it's good. All right. It's good. Um, but we'll, we'll do that, too. Another okay. One. So uh, I'm excited about... I like the clo- I liked Cloverfield Lane. Yeah, it was good. I mean, if you went into Cloverfield Lane expecting to see a monster movie like you saw in Cloverfield, that's not what you were going to get. It, it was almost like a different perspective of what was happening in the world. Obviously, the world of Cloverfield, there's some fucked up, weird, alien monster shit going on. And we don't really... To this day, maybe Paradox will answer that. We'll have to check it out. Answers that question of what the hell it is, you know? And that's 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 signature J.J. Abrams shit right there. Yeah, yeah. So that one came out. Juan, you go now. Next. Um, so, I mean, Avengers added two scenes. Bla- Black Widow looks to the left and Spider-Man screams. Um, I was underwhelmed by the Avengers trailer. Yeah, the Avengers trailer I was even just. Call it a trailer. I'd call it it a was a, like a teaser. I mean, does it have to do anything though? Like we're gonna watch Avengers. It's like, gonna be great. I mean, I, no, I, there were no like no, they didn't have Black Panther trailers at all. No, they didn't. Well, There's here's no the thing: trailers. everyone's gonna go watch Black Panther, so why spend the money? Yes. You know, and yeah. I think with Avengers is the same thing. I do think they missed an opportunity. I know it's far away, but I recently saw the Ant Man and Wasp trailer. Great. Fucking amazing. Great. That I was. Came out last week. And let me tell you something. I was not a fan of Ant Man. I hated Ant Man. I, I know that Ant-Man. you loved it. Loved it. I did not like Ant Man. Yeah. I am super excited for Ant Man and the Wasp. I'm super excited. Really and, and excited. The villain is Ghost. Yeah. Uh, which Ghost is a great character. Yeah. Um, the good thing about the Ant Man verse, the Ant Man Wasp, is like it, it's kind of like it doesn't. It's not epic world ending shit. No. You know right. Know what right. I mean? So like it, it's it's what Spider Man should be. And and it's great yeah. because it was like their heist movie and stuff. So yeah. Yeah. Um, Marvel just um, didn't but, show, and, and DC missed opportunity as well. DC, absolutely, DC. Did. Listen, I'll tell you this: like um, DC, DC needed to have like a Wonder Woman or an Aquaman trailer ready, right? Well, they, they had nothing for Wonder Woman. But it, it, next okay, year, but so Aquaman is this year. They should have rushed something. They should have had an Aquaman teaser. They've as, been filming it. They should have had as bad as Aquaman Justice teaser. League was. Yes. And as much yes. trouble as that company yes. is right now, yes, they fucked up. Yes, agreed, agreed. Especially since Marvel didn't do anything special. Agreed. Missed opportunity for DC. Agreed. But let's go back to the Avengers trailer. Yeah. It, it was more than two scenes. First of all, you had the you had you had the scene of Peter Parker in space taking his mask off. I don't like that at all. I hate that actually because guess what? Peter Parker is still a human being and you can't breathe in space. Yeah. But it, it was in the upper atmosphere. It wasn't in space space. I, no, it was in space, dude. No. And I'm... even in the upper atmosphere, we can't breathe up there, dude. Yeah. I don't care how super you are. You have to breathe. Yeah, well. I don't like that. So, and then the other thing they had like uh, Tony Stark walking, I guess his glasses turning yeah. into a suit or some weird shit like that. Mm-hmm. His suit is becoming. Uh, look, we got Iron Man one playing at the other store down up in Pines, and I forgot how great that movie is. Like yeah. you see him building the suit. You see like. It's stripped without the panels, like the inner workings of it. It made sense. It was like, if we were really going to build an Iron Man suit, how would that shit go down? No. This whole, like, fluid metal shit. Yeah, I don't. Like, yeah. that's just, that's not real. And I'm sorry, Terminator 2 did it better. Absolutely, they did. Uh, and then the uh, and then Thanos grinned at us. It looks good. He looked good. That looks little great. close-up, he actually looks looked uh, rolling like, yeah. Looks great. Good job. Looks great. Um, all right, so that's Avengers. Uh, another trailer that came out was... Uh, um, Mission Impossible. Mission, I did see that trailer. I uh, just—it was a teaser for the Super Bowl. I just don't care. Um, you want to know what it is? It's like, it's like watching just a big stunt show. Yeah, I just you don't know? care anymore. And it's. I mean, I'm gonna go watch it. Well, because they've all been great. They all are great. They really are. Every Mission Impossible has been fantastic. 
Two wasn't that great. Two wasn't that great. But like for five, for for the last one to be great, that's surprising. Yeah, it's really great. But I think Tom Cruise is like trying to prove to. I love Tom Cruise. Yeah. By the way, I don't think he makes bad movies. Um, even his bad movies are still watchable and good. Um, the the thing is is is, I think Tom Cruise is more concerned about holding on to his youth than anything. Mm-hmm. And um, and I I did, like. The action stuff is insane. Like he's hanging out of helicopters and shit like that, and that's what he's selling the movie on now. Like these action scenes. Mm. Whereas if you watch Mission Impossible One, like of course there's action in it, but the story in it is so yeah, it was good. great. Mission, yeah. the first Mission Impossible, like fuck, dude, that made mm-hmm. James Bond look like shit. I think, no, you know. But uh, yeah, Mission Impossible. What what other trailers? Do? Well, that's 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 those are the, that's the bulk of the ones I watched on your page. Is that all of them, with the exception of Solo? Without the exception of Solo. Are we Which, sure? Yeah. Are we yeah, I'm, sure? I'm positive. Are we sure? At Suzy Fett. At Suzy Fett. Come here. We're gonna get at Suzy Fett on the camera right now because she loves her Star Wars. Oh, do you want me to walk? No, no, no. no. Uh-huh. We'll, we'll, we'll stay here. At Suzy, come here. Come here. You're gonna go on the camera. The one day she doesn't wear Star Wars. Come here. Come on over here. Sorry, right. you're gonna go between once again. You don't need this. You don't need to sit because she's short. You're the same height as us sitting. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. All right. So we, we talked about all the trailers, and now we're at Solo. So we're gonna talk about what we thought about it. But before we do, we just want to know what you thought. Bend down a little so they can see your head. I thought it looks like a fun movie. It looks it's gonna be a lot of fun. That's what I think. That's it. I mean, it looked good. I'm excited for it. She's excited for it. There you go. At Suzy Fett. Thank you, at Suzy Fett. You can follow her at Suzy, S U Z double E underscore Fett, like Boba Fett. All right. Wow. I expected a, I expected a better answer out of her. I'm not going to lie. It was really fun. Look, I think it looks great. It looks great. I think it's going it to be fantastic. Great. I think it looks great. I mean, let's be real about something. Everyone's been skeptical about it. They're like, oh my God, they fired the director. They've done reshoots. They took people out of the cast. Yeah, but the, the, Ron, the cast. Ron Howard is there, so. Yeah, Ron Howard doesn't really make bad movies. Never. Some of them are a little like whatever, but they're never bad. Yeah. Uh, I mean, he made a movie about old people, interesting, you know? Cocoon Fucking is hard. Great. See? You even knew what I was talking about. Cocoon is amazing. Look at that. Yeah. Um, but, I mean,. The guy that's playing Han Solo, he didn't talk much, but uh, did you see? The he sounds tra- like him. Did you see the trailer that came out today? Yeah. They, they had the Super Bowl teaser, and then they had the, and the Good Morning Super America yeah, trailer. Yeah. 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 Uh, looks great. We didn't. See, we saw teasers of the Falcon, but not a huge. Bunch In the of the one from this morning, we did. There was a little bit more. Uh, dude, there was a scene where um, yeah, I know he's like just flying the Millennium Falcon and the, and, the and, and hits the Tie Fighter yes. into a fucking asteroid. That was great. Yes, yes great. Um, Donald Glover. Donald Glover as looks like looks Lando like Lando Lando looks like what I think a young Lando would look like. It's great. It's Chewbacca great. is still Chewbacca. Uh, the the uh, the girl, Khaleesi. Khaleesi. Wow. Great. I love her as a brunette. She's gorgeous. Love her wow. as a brunette. That's her natural hair color, by the way. Yeah. I love it. Um, I, I'm looking forward to it. Memorial Day. I can't believe it's going to come up quick. Here's the real question: Avengers comes out, I think, first week of May. It's going to be huge. Solo comes out three, four weeks later. Does Solo dethrone Avengers on the box office? No. I think it does. No. You know what else I liked about the trailer? Music selection. Had almost like a rock and roll vibe. Here, here's my question. Do, do you, you know, speaking of that, do you believe that uh, what makes more money this year, Avengers or Black Panther? Avengers. Really? Okay. Avengers. But to be honest, I don't think either of them get the top thing this year. Do you think it's going to be Solo? No, I think it's going to be Deadpool. Deadpool 2 comes out this year. Yes, which, by the way... I mean, are we done talking about Solo? Yeah, I mean, it, it, look. It looks like... It looks like Star Wars, which... It looks, just, it looks great. Last Jedi just didn't look like it, like right? Like, I just feel it was too glossy. Like, part of my problems with Star Wars, if we go back to when Lucas did um, the Jar Jar Binks debacle, was it was so pretty and glossy, yeah. right? But... That's not what the originals felt like or looked like, right? And this really just feels like the originals. It's great. It's great. So I have a lot of hope for this movie, especially, you know, to bring the Star Wars community back together a little bit after what The Last Jedi just basically did, so. 
I enjoy Last Jedi though. No, and I still don't think it was a bad movie, but a lot of people are about, heard about it. So here's your fucking 1970s movie now. So well, be happy. Here's the deal too. If, in case you guys didn't know, this takes place between Revenge of the Sith and A New Hope, Episode Three and Four. Yeah. It probably takes place. It takes place between before Rogue One, probably. Yeah. If we had to guess. Um. So you're dealing with that type of empire, that, you know, where a Darth Vader exists, where an Emperor exists, where the Empire exists. Yeah. I think we're gonna see. Han Solo getting the Millennium Falcon. Yes. He's, we're going to see him meet Lando, of course. Right. Which I think... And Chewie. I think, and Chewie. And Rescuing Chewie, I think yeah. Woody Harrelson is going to be the one that brings them together. Really weird. That Woody Harrelson, it's really weird. I, off-putting. Yeah, I think Woody Harrelson... He looks weird. I think Woody Harrelson's looking to hire a bunch of mercs for a job. Yeah, but the way he looks is just not... It was weird. I mean, you know? Like do you know Harrelson. what I mean, he though? Like, like but like, like you remember, like I mean, as what, much what, as I. What, what do you want? I have long hair, like in the Hunger Games. No, but like as much as I like Sam Jackson, like he just like because of his body of work, you see him in a Star Wars movie, and you're like, fuck no. Yeah, I don't. Yeah. I don't, okay, that's what I feel like with I, Woody I, Harrelson. I, I was I like, like, fuck, why, why are you in there? Yeah. Like um, you're fucking Woody Harrelson. Uh, we're also gonna see the Kessel Run, the infamous Kessel Run, where no. the Millennium Falcon kicked ass apparently. Um. So. Um. It, it it's gonna it's gonna be pretty good. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be great. Uh, is it gonna be good enough to warrant a sequel Han Solo movie? I don't know if they want to go that route. Because let me let me let me tell you about. It. Is Jabba the Hutt gonna be in it? That'd be great. And I just say that because if you guys remember from A New Hope, there's a there's a bounty out on Han Solo from Jabba, Jabba the Hutt. Hutt. Right. Hence why Greedo was there who shot. Maz was in the trailer, right? It looked like Maz was That was in the Maz, trailer. right? Okay. Yeah. yeah. Which I, I don't know. I think after we see the movie, we'll decide. But um, it depends on where they're going to place it because they're going from his origin story. If they go like if they go from his origin story into A New Hope, I don't see any room for another movie. Yeah, I, I I guess I guess Jabba is the real question mark. Right, Jabba would be yeah. the question mark. So. If, if we're gonna get if we're gonna get a Jabba or not, I don't know. But Solo's good. So here's what here's what here's where I think fucked up. I agree with you totally. DC fucked up. They should have had an Aquaman teaser. You don't yeah. need a full trailer. There should have been a teaser though. Yeah, right. You know what else fucked up though? Like just like a wave, and you see his silhouette coming forward with a. Tra that's it. Something, anything, and then Aquaman. Anything. Anything. It doesn't even have to be in the movie. You could have designed something on the computer over the weekend. Yes. Anything, and we got nothing. Nothing. I don't, I don't know if Warner Brothers is like, we can't put too much money in this, and we can't afford a Super Bowl spot right. right now. I don't know what the story was, but they missed an opportunity there. I think I'm disappointed we didn't see a Deadpool 2 trailer. Yeah. I think that's another, like, what the fuck. Right. You know? Um, I'm disappointed. Isn't X-Men uh, Dark Phoenix this year? I don't know. I, I I think New Mutants was supposed to be, but we don't know what's happening because of the Fox deal. Well, either way, like uh, uh, so so Deadpool two should have been a trailer. Yeah, it should have been. No Ready Player One trailer. But wait a minute, like Deadpool is part of Fox. Deadpool is part of Fox. I'm pretty sure all this has to do with this upcoming buyout of Fox. Yeah, but 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 even if it's approved, Disney is not going to not put out Deadpool. Yeah, but Warner Brothers is not gonna or not uh, Fox is not gonna invest money into putting into commercials a movie that they're not gonna get any money from. I mean, if they're selling Fox to Disney, yeah, Disney's gonna reap all the benefits of that Fox movie. So why is Disney gonna pour in ten million dollars into Super Bowl advertisement? And that's why I believe we saw no Fox. Pro, nothing from that's going to be going to Marvel. That's why we just saw none of it in the Super Bowl. I wonder if we saw any Fox anything. I'm we haven't seen that. anything. We haven't seen any teaser trailers or commercials. Nothing. They were already running the the spots for the New Mutants, and all of a sudden they all disappeared. I know. Yeah, it's true. And again, it's because they're not going to make money off of it. So why would they spend money? Yeah. You know. Well. So this deal needs to get done or not done. <laughs> I hope not done. But uh. So, no Deadpool ad, no Ready Player One. Yeah, no Ready Player One. Which, I think that's going to be the best movie of the year. Of course you would. And I'm not, I guess the, the time machine has a lot to do with that opinion. But no, I mean, you really love the 80s. I mean, I, of course I do, yes. No. But, Ready, Ready, I mean, the movie's going to be great. Like, really? I mean. Is that even a question? I hope it is. You know what it is? It's, it's funny, actually. You got Steven Spielberg, who is... Who is Arguably one of, if not the best director ever, okay, sure. uh, has made amazing movies. But let's be real. Steven Spielberg's catalog over the last five to ten years has been very adult-driven, mm. very, like, 
not like blockbuster hits. Right. You know what I mean? Like the post came out. I didn't see it, but I'm sure it's a great movie. You know? Right. He had that, that 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 what's that movie with the bridge where they crossed the bridge to, to exchange prisoners from the World War Two? Oh, I never even heard of it. Evan, what was the Steven Spielberg movie where they crossed a bridge to exchange prisoners? Bridge of Spies. Bridge of Spies. Yeah, Bridge of Spies. Did you see spies. it? Yeah, but it was fantastic. Really? Yeah, but it's slow, right? It's slow. It's slow but it's yeah. Fantastic. So it is fantastic. I mean, Steven Spielberg doesn't make bad movies, but his stuff has been pretty That's slow. He did 1948, or whatever that movie was called. He did 1948. 1948 or 42 or whatever that. 1942. 1942. Oh, 1492. No, ni- no, 1942. The comedy that he made after Jaws. Yeah, it was garbage. Okay. Well, anyways, Evan loves movies. My point here is that Spielberg is coming back to school everyone and say, Guess what, guys? Look at me. I'm the fucking man. You can't fuck with me. All you guys that think I've been fucking an old man now and don't know how to make good movies, watch this. It's kind of like when the guy came back and made Mad Max Fury Road. Yeah. And, and shocked like, the fuck out of everyone. He's like, He's like, An old man can still do this. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, I think Ready Player One is going to be great. There's no trailer for that, disappointingly. Um, but, is that it? All in all, things to be excited for. Over the next few months, guys, we're going to be watching Black Panther, Avengers, Solo. Deadpool. Deadpool. There's a lot of cool stuff on the horizon. Along with, man, if they're putting like Cloverfield and on, on Netflix, good stuff. How about Jack Ryan? Did hey, you preview for that? No, I heard something though. This might I heard Jack that. Jack Ryan looks great. Don't spoil dude. this for me, but I heard that something huge happened in that show you love. What show? This is us. Yeah. Something huge did happen. Yeah, something shockingly huge. I'm not gonna spoil it, but yeah. But the dad dies. That's not a spoil. Everyone knows he dies. I, I didn't know that. Everyone, if you watch, if you start watching the show, you find out in like episode two. Oh. It's not like a big secret. All right. Did you cry? I didn't watch it. Okay. Because I'm like five episodes behind. All right. Yeah. But yeah, I need to watch that shit. That shit's yeah. fucking good. All right. So, um, yeah, I think that's about it, right? Yeah. All right. So uh, we're, we we got a lot of stuff in the on the on the horizon happening. Uh, Black Panther is next week. Jeez. Can you believe that? Next week is Black Panther. We're gonna give our full review. It's gonna come a little late. I'm not gonna lie, cause I'm going to New York Toy Fair. The next day. So I'll be gone for five days. But when I get back, we'll do the Black Panther okay. review. My, maybe even from Pines. Mm-hmm. Uh, from the Pines location. Uh, we're going to do an Altered Carbon review. Yeah. Whenever we finish watching that. That was released over the weekend. We're going to review on Cloverfield Paradox. Sure. Um, and then uh, we'll see what else comes after yeah. that. But uh, uh, make sure to um, subscribe to our channel. On youtube.com forward slash Cork Comics or just search Cork Comics on YouTube. We're here at our Miami location on 107th and 8th Street across from FIU. We have another location in Pembroke Pines on Pines Boulevard just across from Perry Airport. We're here with the Magic Guys on Monday night, every single Monday night, doing a booster draft. Right, Magic Guys? Woo! There you go. Wow, they're just so they're just so enthused. <laughs> like, 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 uh. They're magicking right now. Uh, um, There's stuff magicking I, happening. I know, they <laughs> We got Batsy in the house always somewhere. Is he smoking? No. Oh, that's someone Batsy else. Batsy doesn't smoke. I was like, Batsy. I was like, does Batsy smoke? No, he doesn't smoke. Uh, and then Ed Susie Fett's here as well. Uh, anything else? No, man. We covered it. There was it's a lot of stuff. That's a lot of stuff. I got a lot of stuff to watch, man. I So do I, dude. It's like so much. I started watching Flash. I gave up because there's just so much other stuff to watch. It's really a golden age of television. That's what they're saying. It, it's it's going to pop eventually. It's going to pop soon. I don't know. I don't want to call it a golden age, but but I really think there's like, so much quality entertainment that there's actual good shows that you have to make a decision not to watch, and they're good shows, great shows even. I I know stuff that will. Never like, I I want to see all this is. You us. know what it's like? It's like music. Yeah. You know, there's so much music out there, and you're never going to listen to it all, and you're no. missing out on so much. Yeah, exactly. So, and. But unlike music, the TV bubble will pop. Because, it's going to pop. Because making shows and movies it's is expensive. Way, way more expensive than making yeah. an album. Yeah. Especially mm-hmm. nowadays. You know? Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, uh, for a time of pop featuring Fat Man and Little Boy, I'm Stephen Corka. Juan Farage. Later.